guys, B. Haynes here, and I am sticking with my 2013 regimen of uploading new videos every Monday morning. So far, so good, because I think I've done it like the last um, couple of weeks or so. So um, I'm figuring out a routine and a schedule that works for me and so hopefully you like them i've been getting some good feedback and so um but that's one of my not necessarily a new year's resolution but definitely something i wanted to work on was um uploading videos more regularly so this video i'm gonna show you um like a dozen products that i just did not like i regret buying um would never ever purchase again now you can form your own opinion you may have some of these products or may have tried them out and you feel differently you may be like oh i love that it works great for me or maybe you know like a trick or two to kind of get them to do what you need to do but for me uh -uh. two thumbs down i wish i had two more hands so i can give them four thumbs down but you get the point so um all right so i'll just get into them okay so first up now this makes me feel bad because normally I love Wet n Wild. Love, 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 love Wet n Wild. I have Wet n Wild eyeshadow one right now. I forgot what this palette is called. It's um. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna tell you because it's gonna distract me if I don't think of it. It's Eos. Oh, I don't know. It's this one that <laughs> I ripped the sticker off. It's this one that um I think it's Silent Treatment. I think I think that's what this one is because I ripped the sticker off of it. So yeah. Now you guys know if you watch my videos regularly, I love 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 Wet n Wild. I'm a Wet n Wild fan. Wet n Wild matte lipsticks, yes. Wet n Wild trios, yes. Wet n Wild eyeshadow singles, eight pan palettes, six pan palettes, yes, yes, yes. Wet n Wild lip glosses, these mega slicks, no. I just know, and let me tell you, I feel bad because. I have all of these okay like I have eight of them no I'm sorry seven of them and I feel bad because number one I know that I should have what I should have done is just bought one saw if I liked it and then went back to get the other colors not me because of course I am a hardcore product junkie and yes I can admit it okay that's I know admittance is one of the steps. Um, but yeah, so I bought all of these at one time. And then I don't think I used them for a little while. But then realized later, oh my god, I don't like these at all. Um, and you can take drugstore makeup back um, normally. And I bought these from Rite Aid. But by the time I realized I didn't like them, I had lost my receipt. And I got stuck with them. So luckily they were only like $1.99 or something like that. But yeah. So here's the thing. I like them because they were like slim and the colors looked cool. Um, and so they were, you know, real compact. You could throw it in your pocket, put it in your purse. And okay, like this one. This is Candy Apple. Right? It is just like sticky. There's not really any color payoff. It's sheer, but yeah more than the fact that there's and i've literally swiped this on top of each other like four times and it's still super sheer clearly that is not how it looks in the tube right um but for the most part i seriously hate it because of the consistency it's just super sticky i'll show you one that's like more opaque this one is red sensation right so it's like a deep crimson red with glitter in it Okay, I swatched this one twice. So this one does have a good color payoff, but the consistency is just black. It's like, I don't know. It paints on kind of like nail polish or something, but I just don't like the consistency of any of them. So yeah, the kind of sheer ones are really sticky. And um, the more opaque ones are really tacky. So this is, I'll show you this last one. This is Shirley Coco, right? Looks like a good nude. I'm a sucker for a nude. And this is it right here. Now the color payoff looks good, but trust me when I tell you it's like the tackiest thing ever. It's like, I can't even display it. It's like paint, like putting on paint. And I don't want that on my lips. And I know that by the time I go like this, it will just look horrible. So I would never ever buy these again. Um... I just haven't thrown them away because I hate throwing products away that haven't like expired or 
things like that but yeah just not gonna work out okay next up maybelline dream bouncy blush and you know what the bad part is i saw like met a whole lot of mixed reviews on these i saw some reviews that were like oh, these are horrible and i was like i'm getting them anyway they're gonna be great not so much so um yeah i have three of them and the only thing i can say is i think that i bought them on a bogo like buy one and get one half off at ready so it's the only thing that makes me feel better about it and again, I held on them to them like too long, I believe, to take them back to right day. And so, because I just kept trying them and kept trying them to make them make them work. So, um, my issue with these is it's just that I like I like the whole little you know concept of like the little bouncy weird formula. Um, it's just the color payoff. It was just nothing like non-existent. So this is the darkest one in the whole collection, and this is fifty plum line looks like that in the pan looks like that on my hand yeah so that was kind of the only thing it just went on super thin and light and super sheer um the only upside is that i figured out a way to make them work for me and i just like put them on the apples of my cheeks and then apply a regular blush over it and it makes that blush stick better because i have like an oily t-zone so that did work it gave the blush something to stick to and so that's what i'll do until i like use them up um because these i'm not gonna toss but we'll never buy again i did okay against my better judgment um i did buy a i gotta get it out of this drawer sorry about that i did buy the bouncy bronzer okay and the reason i bought it i got it at um uh, right a and it was in the clearance section for three dollars and I was like you know what eh, I'll go ahead and try it out um if not then I'll like you know pass it on to someone else or something or I could take it back and get three dollars back um so I actually do like this bad boy and I I kind of figured I would like it by looking at it in the pan um so this color is 90 sun glow so that's it in the pan and then where the heck is it on okay so this is it on my hand and the lighting isn't completely picking it up but you can see that it shows up good and the same thing i could actually put this on on my cheeks by itself and it's fine it just looks like regular bronzer but i normally put like my mac or lorec bronzer over it and it works good so yeah never buying those again though fyi okay next up um let's see i'll move on to this the worst palette ever invented in life if there is a worst palette there might be but i haven't seen it i've only seen this one it is horrible this is the um elf i think it's a 32 fan palette now let me tell you i'm an elf fan i like the elf books of uh what do they have the what do they call the um because my palettes are over there that's what i'm looking over there but I, I can't scoot over that far and see but i have a bunch of the, i have a couple of two other like a warm and a cool um 32 pan palette i have the i don't know i cannot think of what they're called i feel bad and i always feel bad for people with videos when they cannot think of the name of something but um beauty books bam so I have like four elf beauty books. I have some more, but I've given them away in giveaways. Um I have the other little elf duos, um the little uh, quads, right? So I like generally like elf shadow. I normally like the palettes better than the singles or whatever. But sometimes, you know, you get a hit and sometimes you get a miss. This is the, I mean, this is like the biggest miss ever. Okay, so number one, I ordered this off the website during one of those like crazy elf sales where you got like free shipping over 40 bucks or something like that. And it was like 50% off everything. And I like racked up and got so much elf stuff. I got like a lot of palettes, a whole bunch of studio brushes because I love elf studio brushes. That is another win. My favorite brush probably in existence is the elf flat top powder brush and it's three dollars but at that time i think i got it for a dollar fifty because i got everything on the website for 50 percent off with free shipping 
So they had this palette and I was like, oh, look at those colors. They look great. They look spring colors. No. This is the worst palette ever. I can't even explain to you. Look at this palette. Look, I have not even like made a dent in, in any of these colors. And y'all know like I am a straight eyeshadow junkie. This is the wackest. And I'm mad because I think I paid five bucks or something for it. Complete waste of five bucks. Okay. I could have spent that five dollars at McDonald's or something but this is horrible so I'm gonna show you the the one color that I actually you can see like I've used a couple times because I have a little dent in it but that's like the I mean there may be out of this whole palette three colors that I can vouch for okay maybe four but okay so I'll show you so this is that coppery color I was showing you okay not too bad cool you'll need a primer this is like four or five swipes of the of a purple color and this is like four swipes of this pink color and i tell you these are like the chalkiest powderiest just worst freaking eyeshadows ever the worst the ones at the top it's like straight powder they come off like i'm not kidding you like these are the, the lighter colors at the top they look at this pay off they look like powder like you can't pick up the color they just look like pink beige powder so yeah needless to say that was a waste i started to write elf a bad letter but i didn't i'm a chill but elf if you are watching this i'm not happy about that palette okay so moving on i'm getting a little emotional okay lipsticks these i have more of them too but I just pulled out a few. Okay, LA Colors lipsticks. Now, I can't beef too much because I only paid like a dollar something for these lipsticks. I know sometimes I see them. I've seen them since I bought them in like Dollar Tree sometimes and they're a dollar. But I bought them like at a beauty supply store and they may be in like $1.49 or something like that. And of course, I pulled the same move. Oh, look at these lipsticks. And I bought like 10 of them. Um, but yeah, just like the worst formula, consistency ever and see like the yeah not a lot of color payoff just too sheer so whatever you put in lipstick to make it like sheer or shimmery somebody is really heavy-handed so um i mean yeah these are just a no for me N O. okay next up i know i might get a little little flack for this but this is just my opinion okay nyx jumbo lip pencils these are a no for me I actually bought these by accident. Luckily, I only picked up three of them um, at IMAX because I bought a bunch of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. Okay, so this was my thought. If you have been to IMAX and you have seen the NYX booth area, it's not even a booth. It's a big, massive display area. It is a madhouse. Number one, okay, when I went in New York City, it takes an hour. You you get in a line, which goes like, I mean, all around IMAX. And it took an hour to get up to the actual display where you pull your stuff. Then it's a whole race to like go around the thing and pull all your stuff and try to swatch and pull your colors. And then run and get in the line to pay for your stuff, which took another hour. No lie. Like seriously, it's a two-hour process. So... In my haste, these were all in a section with the uh, eye pencils. So I really didn't pay attention and I really didn't know because I didn't know any of these that they were not jumbo eye pencils until I got them home. And I was like, oh, these are weird. So then I realized that they were lip pencils. I just don't like them. Like, I can't make them work as lipstick. I can't make them work as, like, lip liner. They're just too slippery and too like glossy and see like i know people are like oh that's a good color payoff and i love almost i mean i pretty much love everything nyx i love i am an nyx stan but i just cannot make these work for me any type of way other than swatching them on my hand when i put them on my lips they just do not work for me so if you have some advice because this is not not something i'm gonna throw away i will hold on to these but if you have some advice or some trick to um make them work or you know or if you've got a video or something like that then link it below or hit me in the comments because i'd appreciate it you know and then i'll i'll you know i will gladly retract my statement and take them off my 
worst products list i'm just saying okay so next up i know people are not gonna like this se polish mm -mm. okay and not just any se polish just se cream polishes i can't make them work i mean for the life of me i cannot make them work and i bought a bunch of these i was really excited about them i got them on clearance there is a beauty supply store um in a local mall that always has I mean, they carry every single polish, every single collection for China Glaze, Essie, um, OPI, Zoya. I mean, every single one. So they, every single week, they put stuff on clearance. There's like a bin and they keep like purging stuff. I mean, I never go in there and there's not high-end polish on sale. And so Essie's and like China Glaze and stuff, they're always $2.99 on clearance. So I just go buy the stuff that's out of season. I mean, unless it's a color I'm like really super crazy about and I have to pay $8 for it. I'd rather pay $2.99 for it. But these cream polishes, I cannot get them to work. I mean, like when I put them on, maybe five of my fingers out of ten look good. And the other five, not necessarily on the same hand, are like streaky. And they just, you know, cream polish doesn't always lay flat. I don't know. So it's not really Essie's fault, but I just can't make it work. Um, I know I've seen other people say that about Essie too. So if you have some type of trick or suggestion... Um, let me know if there's specific like base coat or something where I could use these things. Please hit me up. Okay, so next up, bing bang boom. I only got a couple of things left. Um okay, I'll do foundations. Uh, L'Oreal Infallible, um, never fail makeup. This is a no for me for a couple of reasons. One, um, it is too dark. This is Coco 624. It's too dark. It, I even tried it in the summertime and it seemed like a little too dark for me. And, um, no, it is like the, t I guess it's supposed to make you not look tired, but when you put it on your face, it looks really like muddy and stiff. It doesn't look natural at all. So that was a no, but I think I'm just going to mix it with a bunch of moisturizer and make a tinted moisturizer. So, um, and I'll probably put in a little bit of a lighter concealer, work it out. Then these two concealers, okay, this is concealer. I meant foundation. Um, these two are both too light for me. This is Maybelline Mineral Powder Foundation. This one is Dark 1. And this is Tan Dark 1 and Caramel Dark 2. Now, this is my fault. The first one, I saw at the dollar store. I was super excited, so I bought one. And the issue is, you cannot tell what your color is looking through this like frosty plastic they all look exactly the same okay so got it home that was not my color but only paid a dollar then i saw it in big lots like two weeks ago and i was like oh i wonder if i'm dark two or dark three i'm just gonna go for dark two no again not my color so i'm stuck with two that two light colors but luckily i didn't i only wasted 450 all together but still like ugh, come on the packaging just no so um yeah so i ended up mixing it with like a too dark foundation and, and working it all like that um and then let's see okay i only got a couple of minutes left before my battery dies um i said in every video i never charge my camera um okay mascaras three fails one maybelline turbo express turbo volume express uh-uh no way never buy again it is the wettest mess ever it's just so wet it never dries it makes a mess no fail next one the rimmel volume accelerator it is humongous and bulky um but too much product comes off it doesn't have like a little clump you know stopper thingy and the brush is humongous so i kept poking myself in the eye like no lie like trying to maneuver this brush so that was a no for me ultimate no is the um l'oreal telescopic explosion just no i mean i don't like the formula this little brush thing pulls off all the product and when you try to get this on your eyes it is clump city so luckily i just bought this one like last week and i do have my packaging on my receipt so this is going back to rite aid um and i'll just get like another um voluminous like million lashes which i love a lot um and what else okay oh and lastly i have one last thing because i have like one minute left um uh, this is the avon glimmer sticks liquid glide 
I raved about this at first, but after using it a few times, it goes on liquid. It's a pencil, but it goes on liquid. It takes way too long to dry, and it actually, like, kind of leaked a little bit in my eye a couple of times, like, when I put it on my bottom lashes, and I guess because they're, my eyes are kind of watery sometimes. I mean, it got in my eye. It didn't hurt, but it took forever to get all the product, like, out of my eye and keep flushing my eye. Complete mess, so this will be a no. So that's all I got. Um... Let me know what you think. If you agree or disagree, leave your comments below. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and if you have like a, you know, most hated products or never buy again products um, video, link it as a video response. I love to watch it. All right, so I'll see you guys next Monday.